Hi there, young scientists. Welcome back to Kids Science Corner. In today's lesson, we'll explore one of the most powerful tools of our time, the computer. Computers have become essential in almost every aspect of our lives. But how exactly do they work? Whether you're 8 or 80, understanding the basics of computer science can open up a world of possibilities. Let's break it down. First, let's start with a simple question. What is a computer? At its core, a computer is a machine that processes information or data by following a set of instructions known as programs. Computers don't think for themselves. They do exactly what we tell them to do, but they do it incredibly fast and efficiently. From performing calculations to displaying this video, every task a computer does follows a series of instructions written in code or programming languages that humans create. To understand how computers work, we need to look inside. While there are many parts, the most important components are the CPU, memory, and storage. The CPU, or central processing unit, is often called the brain of the computer. It's responsible for carrying out the instructions given by software. Every click, every word typed, every calculation made, the CPU is working behind the scenes, processing that information. Next, we have the memory, or RAM. The word RAM stands for Random Access Memory. This is the computer's short-term memory. It temporarily stores data that the CPU needs to access quickly. Think of it as the computer's workspace. The more memory you have, the more tasks your computer can handle at once. Finally, we have storage. This is the computer's long-term memory, where it saves everything, from the operating system that runs the machine to all your files, games, and videos. Now that we know the key components, let's break down the basic process every computer follows, input, process, and output. First, the computer receives an input. This could be a click of a mouse, a key pressed on the keyboard, or even a voice command. Next, the CPU processes that input. This involves following the instructions written in software to determine what the computer should do with that information. Finally, we have the output, the result of that processing. It could be something like displaying a web page, playing a sound, or showing text on the screen. Thanks for joining Kids Science Corner on this magnificent adventure. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe our channel for more fun learning.